Well, we love the Lord today. We worship Him. And we want to draw near to Him. We want to draw near to Him. We want to give our lives to Him. That all that would one thing that would be known about you and me is that we love Jesus. Jesus, lover of my soul. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me. Revelation 3. We're looking at a church at Sardis. And he's he's telling this church, he said, you know, um, I know your works. You have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. You are dead. And you've got so many dead churches. Isn't that so? So many dead churches. Whenever I tell people, you know, go and look for a church, I always have to give them some pointers to find a good church. And God says, wake up, strengthen what remains and is about to die. Maybe in our church, prayer is dying and we need to wake it up. Maybe teaching the word of God is dying and we need to wake it up. Maybe worship is dying and we need to wake it up. Maybe evangelism is dying and we need to wake it up. Maybe loving one another and having fellowship is dying and we need to wake it up. We need to look at the things that we're dying, that we're not so good in and strengthen those things. And that's how the church will grow. Amen. He says, for I have not found your works complete in the sight of God. And think, it's like when you call your kids to do something, you know, would you clean this or would you do that? And, and, and the job is only done halfway. It's not completely done. We like to see jobs done completely. Now, and this is what God is saying. I have not found your works I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Lord, where are we stopping short? Where are we failing? Where are we just doing it? Maybe just the bare minimum? Maybe just what needed to be done? We know that's really... And we're not paying, you know, like in Canada here, you move to Canada and... and one of the things they ask you um, as your job seeking is one, one of the things they want to see on that resume or, or people would put on the resume. Many things you put on the resume, they're not even true. You know, people write all these fabulous things and it's just, they're just patting their resumes. Anyways, but something we look for and, and as um, someone who employs, um, someone working with me, one of the things that's important is paying attention to details. Paying attention to details, little things. And the people who pay attention to details are, are great employees and great workers. Now, in our own Christian lives and in the church, I love to see, as a pastor, I love to see people who pay attention to the details, you know. They don't just do that which is the, the, the bare minimum um, and, and what is expected, but they go beyond that. They go beyond that to make sure things are perfect. Things are the best. This is the best that I can do, and I'm going to give it my very best shot. You know, and that's the way we should be approaching the things of God. So God says, wake up and strengthen that what remains as about to die. I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. You've got some works, but it's not complete. It's not complete. There's still some some areas you're lacking in, some, some things that need to be done. And I pray that, um, you know, we are not in that position. And so we want to close up with that today. Wake up. Strengthen what you've got. Strengthen what you've got. And it's about to die. This is the church that's about to die. This is the dead church he's talking to. Or the church that's going to be completely dead if they don't do something. And I'm not just speaking to the church now as a whole, but to you as an individual Christian. Are you about to die? Beloved, it's a dangerous thing to die as a Christian. Not physically, but spiritually. There's some people who think that once saved, forever saved, I don't believe that eternal security. I believe we can lose out of the kingdom of God. We can get out, we can backslide and turn away from God. Are you about to die? Wake up. And are your works complete in the sight of God? I pray today, Father, that you will touch each and every person listening to this devotion. And God, if they are in a position where they've drifted from you and about to die, that they will wake up wake up and they will strengthen that which remains. They will live a life that is complete before you and not be lacking in some areas. You will reveal to them, Lord, the areas that they need to work on. Be it forgiveness, 
be it prayer, the word, fellowship with saints, you know, Lord. Touch your people. And Father, I pray a special blessing upon everyone today. We love you. We're so grateful to you, God, for laying your hand upon us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Lord. Amen. And God bless you.